Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. Nobody is listening. Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. But they're not secret in the sense that. But. 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 Secret in the sense that they're classified. 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 But. For now, know that every border you cross, every purchase you make, every call you dial, every cell phone tower you pass, friend you keep, article you write, site you visit, subject line you type, and packet you route, is in the hands of a system whose reach is unlimited, but whose safeguards are not. You are well aware of the threat that unrestricted, secret police pose for democracies. The Anon Calm 4G LTE is a new, powerful, and versatile Android-based phone that puts you in control. A built-in fingerprint scanner protects your phone from physical intrusion. Encrypted email service protects email between you and your private contacts. Individual applications, such as your photo or movie galleries can require additional fingerprint verification. The motion detection camera operates in stealth mode, automatically sending the photos or video where you designate. Additional features include NFC wireless for payments convention, double tap wake up, control via gesture sensing, and you can even customize this item with your personal gestures for automated task control and operations. Channel in your communication needs through dual SIM ports, with dual standby, giving you the options of controlling which global network you want to connect to. Anonymous private browsing protects your privacy while surfing the web protecting your identity and location. With a powerful GPU the Anon Calm 4G supports all the most popular video and audio formats, while the super fast download speeds allow for smooth streaming of high quality media. A smoother user interface, with an easy swipe menu, giving you instant access to your favorite applications. Video calling is simple and straightforward over the fast 4G LTE connection, giving you higher quality and stability. Amazing high definition 1280 x 720 resolution on a 5 inch screen protected by third generation Corning Gorilla Glass. 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of phone storage expandable up to 128 gigs. And even includes a Sony 13 megapixel main camera. Does the NSA intercept? Americans cell phone conversations no Google searches no text messages no Amazon.com orders no bank records no that the NSA and the FBI are tapping directly into the uh, central servers of nine leading internet companies including Microsoft Yahoo Google Facebook AOL Skype YouTube and Apple. The Post says they're extracting audio, video, photographs, emails, documents, and connection logs that enable analysts to track a person's movements and contacts over time. Uh, infringement on American civil liberties probably of all time. So does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. It does not. Not wittingly. And a new revelation about domestic surveillance by the U.S. government. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that U.S. Marshals have been using small planes to intercept cell phone signals and collect caller data. All phone calls in the area are swept up in the operation, with a flight range that covers pretty much most of the population in the United States. But people are targeted not so much because they're criminals or terrorists. They, they are targeted because of beliefs that are, the government doesn't find popular or that certain groups decide we want to, you know, shut these people down, environmentalists, we want to start, you know, looking at them. That cell tower you think you are connecting to might not really be a cell tower. It's essentially a fake cell phone tower. Found Oakland has one, so does LA, San Francisco and San Jose. Our phones, individuals' phones, businesses' phones, the phones of government officials, are all vulnerable. It may be time to evaluate the status quo when any hacker or identity thief or private investigator can build one of these things and park it outside of a Silicon Valley office or a bank 
or a law firm at Intercept called. There are Israeli companies and Spanish companies and French companies and Chinese and Indian and Russian who sell it to basically anyone who shows. But apparently the Constitution no longer applies. Here's one from the Iowa City Police Department. Uh, do not mention to the public or the media the use of cell phone technology or equipment used to locate the targeted subjects. Oh, why not? Uh, because it is wildly illegal and unconstitutional. In California, they've uh, developed clone phones, the police departments have, and they use them to download text messages even while your phone is turned off. Mm -hmm. And that scares the bejesus out of me, man. Using these techniques, you can intercept phone calls for a thousand times less money than the commercial systems that do exactly the same thing. You know, how do we, how do we fix this? Um, the reality of it is that there, there is no good solution. Um, treat it like voice over IP. Just use it as a data network. Treat it like the internet. Encrypt everything that goes across it. Just, just don't trust it. Free and espionage is not required to electronically stalk someone. Listen to live calls, view photos, read call logs, dominate other people's cellular phones. She can even secretly conference herself into any of his calls and listen in from anywhere she has service. Yeah, too bad, too bad you can't have somebody come out just to vacation with you. To I just can't believe that they have no clue that I'm now listening to this conversation. As mobile technology advances, he says professional hackers are moving from computers to phones. It isn't just thrill seekers trying to spy on people. It's really a, a criminal operation where they want to get personal information, financial information that they can use. It's hard to tell if a phone's been Tim, bugged. Is there any way? Now, obviously, it was a voicemail. They could they could try to get the the phone companies to give that up at this point. But if it's not a voicemail, it's just a conversation. There's no way they actually can find out what happened, right? Unless she tells them. No, there is a way. They, we certainly have ways in, in national security investigations to find out exactly what was said in that conversation. Um, it's not necessarily something that the FBI is going to want to present in court, but it may help lead the investigation and or lead the questioning of her. So, so we can certainly being find that out. Or they can actually get that. Because everyone, people were saying, look, yeah, that wouldn't well, be possible. Yes. It's pretty incredible what you're saying. No, welcome welcome to America. The, uh, there, all of that stuff is being captured as we speak, whether we know it or like it or not. Note to self, as uh, exactly. Deb Farrick just said here, yeah. Should we just call privacy completely dead? That's correct. So that's really scary because when you think about it, this little tiny thing that I carry around with me, I mean, it has, it holds so much of our personal information these days, right? Every email, every text message, every picture, every video. Um, it's almost kind of scary how much we depend on these little things. Warned There's a lot off. of Americans that are probably saying, hey, I have nothing to hide. Go ahead, search my phone. But you said that a lot of us are probably guilty of committing crimes and we don't even know it. What do you mean by that? A girl was arrested on a New York City subway for eating a French fry. It's, it's incredibly easy for the cops to find something you've done that's illegal. So it's really hard to know for sure that there's nothing on your phone that might land you behind bars, given how many laws we have. That is really crazy. So encrypting it is the only really surefire way to make sure police can't access it. The problem is not a lot of phones actually let you encrypt it. It's not an easy thing. It's not a common feature. Well, that's no good. I think maybe I need to throw out my phone. You think you are private when you're talking on your cell phone. Well, Think again. Any communication that you initiate, uh, a voice call or an SMS or internet communication, uh, I can monitor that um, using this device. The devices are legal, but Andrew says criminals could potentially exploit this. The One thing everyone seemed to notice, including us, was a sudden lack of cell phone service, especially when some realized it was not a random outing. Actually, the uh, media relations uh, people made that uh, made that decision. I don't know. I don't know because the tactics that the cops use, I'm not always privy to. He specifically said it was the public relations department that made the decision to turn off the well, cell service. We, 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 we suggested it. And you have to ask yourself, do you have a fundamental right to cell service? Arab rulers did the same thing during these anti-government uprisings the past year or so. I mean, doesn't that violate basic freedoms? Doing it as total public policy, where it is unbridled censorship, where you're shutting down things, and, and only the, the, the lawmakers at the helm are deciding for how long and for what purpose, that is dangerous. We could end up living in a police state. If the, but the judges and the, and the DA even said that they didn't know that you had one of these devices. Why is that? I have nothing more to say to you. Yeah, isn't it shocking that prosecutors and judges don't even know when the stingray is being used, in what cases? But even that, now this is the police department that, according to the Wall Street Journal article, said they'd used stingray at least 200 times since 2010 without telling any judge. And here's their reason. The device manufacturer made the police department 
sign a non-disclosure agreement that the police claim prevents them from disclosing what they're going to do to the courts. President Obama's Justice Department now not just defending Bush officials from lawsuits surrounding National Security Agency domestic spying, but seeking to expand the government's authority by making it immune from any legal challenge regarding wiretapping, ever. Welcome to change you cannot believe in. The U.S. government used AT&T's cooperation to spy not only on overseas communications, but to vacuum up virtually all of America's use of the Internet for years. Email, Googling, web surfing, you name it. And involved not just AT&T customers, but virtually every Internet and telecommunications company, and virtually all email and web traffic in the country. Without a warrant, without any mechanism for separating domestic from overseas, without separating suspect from citizen. Cell phone users beware, Big Brother may be listening. The Federal Bureau of Investigation can now hear everything you say. We're not mining to the personal lives of innocent Americans. Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. Nobody is listening. Nobody is listening to your telephone calls. But they're not secret in the sense that uh,